Despicable Me 4 is coming out on the 3rd of July. And if you have never seen the previous installments of this movie or you have forgot most part of it, you're more than welcome to enjoy this video. Because I'm gonna give you a complete recap of the previous three installments of this franchise. And I'm gonna do that just within 10 minutes or maybe even less than that. I have divided this video in three different chapters and I'm gonna talk about all of them one by one. Let's talk about the central character of this movie. This is Gru. This dude had an extremely rough childhood. When he was as a kid, he fell in love with a girl named Lisa. One day he gathered some courage to propose that girl and then every classmate around him bullied this boy in the most embarrassing way possible. Lisa's got cronies! Even his mother, Miss Merlina, never used to miss a single chance of bullying this boy. Since then, he decided to live like a lone wolf. I drew a picture of me landing on the moon. Eh. Look, Mom, I made a real rocket based on the macaroni prototype. Eh. Look, Mom, I made the prototype of the rocket out of macaroni. Eh. He always wanted to get recognized in the society for his intelligence and power. So, he was cherishing a desire of becoming the biggest villain in the world. Ironically, he couldn't manage to pull out a big deal throughout his entire life. Yeah, he was able to steal the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty, but they're the prototypes from Las Vegas. He had a loan shark who goes by Mr. Parkins. This man is the director of the villain bank. Anybody who wants to carry out a villainous mission can show his plan to this man, and if the plan seems to be convincing enough, he's gonna get the loan from the villain bank. And Gru has more debt against his income just like the economy of the United States government. Gru has three adopted daughters, Margot, Edith and Agnes. Margot is the mature one, Edith is the mischievous one and Agnes is the innocent one. Three of these girls used to live in an orphanage of Miss Hattie. They used to sell cookies from door to door and that's how they got the attention of Gru. Agnes loves everything pink. She has an obsession with unicorns but ironically she ended up having a goat from the woods of Fridonia. We're hoping for a unicorn and we get a goat. Margot, on the other hand, is a bit romantic person. She wants a boyfriend, but Gru doesn't seem to be fine with that. Well, hold the horses. Who are you texting? No one, just my friend Avery. Does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter unless it's a boy. She had a crush for a Mexican boy named Antonio who is the son of El Macho, the main villain of the second installment. But the boy turned out to be a pervert. Hey, what's wrong? I hate boys. <laughs> Gru has an army of the minions in the secret underground workshop of his house. The talking minion is language which you will never understand unless you like this video. So hit the like button already. This is Dr. Nefario. He is the man behind all the notorious gadgets of Gru. He has a very slow scooter by the way. Like very very slow. This may take a while. Go about your business. This is Jillian, one of the annoying neighbors of Gru. This dude went on a date for the first time with a friend of her who goes by Shannon and the woman turned out to be toxic as fa. So, do you work out? Well... I mean, obviously you yeah. don't. Are you wearing a wig? I don't think so. I knew it. But thanks to Lucy, he got a real life partner who loved him for exactly who he is rather than trying to change his appearance or his weird accent. She no like? Oh, she's just, uh... Just between you and me, you look much better bald. Lucy is an agent of the Anti-Villain League. Their objective is to stop villains from committing any crimes. Silas Ramsbottom is the director of this institute. Lucy got to see Gru in the second chapter of this movie after his retirement from the villain world. He was running a successful line of jams and jellies until he joined the Anti-Villain League with Lucy to serve the world. Lucy was in so much love with this man that she decided to refuse a transfer to Australia and came back to America. After 147 dates, they happily got married. Gru he has a twin brother who goes by Drew. He lives in Fredonia. He always desired to become the greatest villain in the world. But he was a disappointment to their father. And yes, when it comes to the question of his father, I need to tell you that he was known as the Bold Terror. His father Robert was the biggest villain in the world. After the divorce between Marlena and Robert, they made a deal that Marlena will take Drew and Robert will take Drew. And they will never get to see each other's face again. But Drew finally got to find out about his brother with the help of Mr. Fritz. 
He is one kind of servant of Gru. They are Vincenzo and Paolo. They are the diving instructors of Gru's mother. Gru believes that Merlina may have a secret relationship with them. This woman also has some kind of suspicious intimacy with Dr. Nefario as well. Now let's talk about the villains in this franchise. In chapter 1, the pyramid in Giza was replaced by a giant inflatable replica which was actually done by a man named Vector. He is the son of the loan shark Mr. Parkins. After hearing that news, Gru decides to steal the moon to make a bigger record and possibly become the biggest villain in the world. He goes to East Asia to steal the shrink ray that can reduce the size of a huge object to a surprisingly small shape. Gru finally steals the shrink ray and then Vector steals that from the hand of Gru. Gru gets the gadget back from the house of Vector and goes to moon. He shrinks the moon, comes back to earth to attend the dance performance of his daughters only to find out that they had been abducted by Vector. He now wants the moon in exchange of the girls. Ironically, the effects of the shrink ray started to wear off and the moon began to get bigger and bigger again. In the end of the movie, Vector ends up getting stuck in the space on the moon that finally inflated back to its original size. Gru on the other hand decides to permanently retire from the villain world and begin a business of jams and jellies with the help of Dr. Nefario and his minions. <laughs> And hey, I forgot to mention Kyle. This is the mischievous pet of Gru. It likes to eat books and newspapers besides pooping all over the front yard of their neighbors and devouring the entire garden. In the second chapter of the movie, it shows a secret research lab in the Arctic Circle which was working on a mutation serum simply known as PX41. Once ingested, it can turn someone into a monster and very immortal. Anyways, this is Eduardo Perez, the owner of the Salsa y Salsa restaurant. This guy is actually El Macho who was supposed to be dead jumping into a volcano strapped with 250 pounds of dynamite riding on a freaking shark. Like what the hell? He kidnaps the minions of Gru and keeps them on a secret island. The PX-41 was actually stolen by this man to make an army of super minions. Being fed up with making jams and jellies, Dr. Nefario resigns from the workshop of Gru and he starts working with El Macho. Kevin was the first minion that was tested with the serum. In the end of the movie, Dr. Nefario changes his mind and turns his back on El Macho. He comes up with the end antidotes, saves the mutated minions and captures El Macho with the fart gun. Yes, this is right, the fart gun. Gru saves the life of Lucy who was strapped with a rocket by El Macho to the direction of an erupting volcano and finally the movie ends with Gru getting married with Lucy after 147 dates. In chapter 3, the movie shows a flashback of the number one TV show in America in 1985 known as the Evil Brat. Balthazar Brat was the host of that show. He acts like an evil boy who wants to take over the entire world. In season 3, the story gets cancelled after experiencing growth spurt all over his face. I've been a bad boy! The young star boy? experienced an unexpected boy? growth spurt. And that was the beginning of his villain arc. He decides to become a real villain in the real world. He goes after a ship that was transporting a pink diamond but fails to pull out the job after getting interrupted by Lucy and Gru. They are now the agents of the anti-villain league. They fail to catch the evil brat but manage to rescue the diamond. But the new director of the AVL, Miss Valeria da Vinci, fires both of them for losing Brat. In the meanwhile, Monsieur Pompey comes to the museum in Paris to check if the pink diamond rescued by the AVL was actually fake or real. This guy, to be honest, kind of looks like Donald Trump with extra fat and orange texture. He was actually the evil Brat in disguise who went over there to steal the previously stolen diamond again pretending to be a diamond inspector. On the other hand, the minions proposed to Gru to become a bad person again entering the villain world. After their proposal gets rejected by Gru, they resign from the workshop and begin to merge on the street in search of a new job. They eventually get arrested and thrown into the prison for their mischievous behavior. In the meanwhile, Gru gets to find out about his twin brother. He and Lucy along with the three kids go to Fredonia to see him. After meeting his brother, Gru finds out that Drew is actually looking for a mission that can make him the biggest villain in the world. So Gru offers him for some assistance to steal the pink diamond from the castle of Evil Brat. Both brothers finally manage to pull out the mission but Brat on the other hand kidnaps the daughter of Gru in the disguise of their mother and runs away with the private jet of Mr. Drew. The pink diamond was also inside the plane. Gru goes to his brother to ask for some help. But Drew is unhappy with the fact that his brother lied to him about the mission and kept it a secret that the pink diamond will not be handed to him and instead it will be given back to the AVL. Despite the promise break, he agrees to help Gru as soon as he finds out that three of his girls have been abducted by evil brat. The minions inside the jail on the other hand have made an airplane using everything the prison 
prison facility had. They flee from the jail and during the flight, they get to see Gru in the air. So they immediately take a U-turn and follow Gru to Los Angeles. Evil Brett now wants to blow the entire city of Hollywood in the air with his super inflatable bubble gum. This is the place where he rose to fame with his number one TV show, The Evil Brett. In the end, his robot gets destroyed by Gru and Brett gets into a dance fight. The AVL agents finally arrest Evil Brett and sentence him to lifetime imprisonment. Lucy rescues three of the girls. Gru and Drew finally patch up, but deep inside, Gru still has a desire of becoming the biggest villain in the world. So he runs away from the house of Gru with all the minions he had. And I feel like he was going back to Fredonia to build his new army of the minions. And that was the end of this beautiful trilogy. <laughs> Stop! 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 Stop!